We can see them coming through field glasses. They're no more than a half a mile away. They'll be here in a matter of minutes. What if they spot the wagon to the street and realize we're waiting for them? Once that happens, we've lost the element of surprise. If they try to break off their charge or even start to slow down, go ahead and open fire. We won't get a better chance to wipe out some of them. If Bishop goes down in the first volley, the others might give up the attack. Or if he survives but loses enough men right away, he might decide that Salt Lick's not worth it. You really think a loco owl hoot like Snake Bishop is supposed to do something that reasonable? Uh, Well, probably not. But there's nothing wrong with us hoping. Hope is a good thing as long as it's accompanied by plenty of hot lead. The shouts came from the other end of town, carried by the wind. Both men turned. Son of a bitch! It took a hell of a lot to shock Smoke Jensen, but the sight that met his eyes just now accomplished it. A huge, towering, grayish-white wall loomed over Salt Lick, barreling down on the settlement with unbelievable speed. It almost looked like a gigantic wave from the ocean, but this moisture was in a different form. But it was just as unstoppable as a tidal wave. The blizzard crashed over the town. The wind blew so hard it felt as if it were about to knock him over, and little pellets of snow battered and clawed at him like giant grains of sand in the world's worst sandstorm. Smoke was blinded and could no longer see Sarge Shaw, even though the man was only a few feet from him. The wind drowned out all other sounds, at least at first. Then Smoke's hearing adjusted a little. Smoke! Smoke! He thought he heard someone calling his name from a great distance. All around him was a white maelstrom. Out of that madness came a hand, groping blindly. It brushed against Smoke's arm and then closed around it in a tight grip. Smoke reached out, found what felt like a shoulder. He drew the man closer to it. Sarge! Is that you, Smoke? Are you there? Right here! He was able to see Sean now as a dark, vague shape in the thick curtains of snow. We need to get inside! Smoke knew Shaw was right. A man couldn't survive for very long in this storm with no shelter. The temperature was plummeting even more. What happened to Bishop? I don't know. Nobody would raid a town in weather like this. Smoke understood the sentiment even if he couldn't make out all the words. You couldn't raid a town in weather like this. Any man would have agreed with that. The problem was Snake Bishop wasn't necessarily sane. 